Chapter 23 Christ the Good Shepherd God is a merciful God, for he sent his son to be the lamb, for his sheep the flock of the earth. When Abraham was told to sacrifice Isaac, the Lord withheld his hand from his son. Genesis 22 and 7 and he spared the lives of his chosen people when he passed them over from Egypt. For he commanded them to sacrifice a lamb and to spread its blood on the two doorposts and on the lintel of the houses in which they eat it, so the angel of death would pass over them. Exodus 12 and 5 And on the fourteenth day of the month the lamb of the Passover was sacrificed. And on the fourteenth day of the month, the Lamb of Christ was sacrificed. And on the fourteenth day of the month, the Lamb that is his witness will be sacrificed. But did God truly want the sacrifice of the lambs? No. For what he wanted was the sacrifice of obedience, that his people would obey his commandments. For he commanded a different sacrifice. Wash yourselves, make yourselves clean, remove the evil of your deeds from my sight, cease to do evil, learn to do good, seek justice, reprove the ruthless, defend the orphan, plead for the widow. Isaiah 1 and 11. But his people sin greatly and transgress his commandments and would sacrifice the lamb to be reconciled with God. And by their transgressions and sins, he removed his blessing from his people. And the punishment and suffering was great, for all of his people had no strength. But God, in his infinite mercy, promised he would come as a lamb, and by the blood of his sacrifice, his people would be saved. For he was a lamb that would cover their transgressions. Isaiah 53 and 6 And when his people passed over from Egypt, God asked for the sacrifice of an unblemished lamb. But truly, there is only one unblemished lamb that is sacrificed for the sins of the world. For he is the lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. 1 Peter 1 and 17 And what is a lamb? A lamb is a sheep that is yoked by a shepherd. Yet the shepherd became a lamb so that mankind could be free. For before he was a lamb, he was the shepherd of his people. He was the shepherd who guided his people out of the famine and into Egypt. Psalms 80 and when his flock returned to their land, he shepherded the kings who ruled over his kingdom. Ecclesiastes 12 and 11 And as the father knows his son, so does the son know his sheep. For he is the true shepherd who lays down his life, so that his sheep may inherit eternal life. John 10 and 10 For the lamb was sacrificed on the cross, but on the third day the Lamb rose again, for he came as a Lamb to die for mankind, and returned as a shepherd to gather his sheep. For not only did he die for our sins, but he died to show us the true sacrifice of love. And he commanded his flock to follow his footsteps, for they too were lambs in the midst of wolves. Luke 10 and 2. And the price they paid was great indeed, for in the image of Christ they became sacrificial lambs. But for their sacrifice their rewards will be great, for on that glorious day they will rise in the clouds having washed their robes right with the blood of the Lamb. Revelation 7 and 14 For they are the bride of the groom, and will wear the fine linen of their righteousness. Revelation 19 and 7 And they will receive the crown of glory 1 Peter 5 and 4 And will be his shepherds And will tend to his sheep Jeremiah 23 and 4 
But what of the shepherds of this age? For the prophets have foretold that the shepherds of this age would leave our lands desolate, for they have refused to lay his statutes to heart. Jeremiah 12 and 10. And despite all the warnings, our rulers have been told of the folly of their ways. They refuse to heed his warnings. Isaiah 31 and 4. But woe to these shepherds, to Al Sadr, to Bush, to Cheney, and Ahmadinejad, for they have destroyed and scattered the sheep. Behold, God will soon tempt you for the evil of your ways. Jeremiah 23 and 1. Yes, the time is near when the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him. Then he will sit on his glorious throne. And he will separate his sheep on the right for his glory and on the left for the slaughter. Matthew 25 and 31. And when they have gathered on that glorious day, his remnant will bow at the throne of the Lamb, and they will sing, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and might and honor and glory and blessing. And every created thing which is in heaven and on the earth and under the earth and on the sea and all things in them, to him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb, be blessing and honor and glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Revelation 5 and 12. And the bowls of wrath will be poured, and the judgment will be great indeed. But by God's goodness and grace, all things shall be forgiven, for He is a forgiving God. And once the penalty has been paid, all men will return to the Father, for as he said, I have other sheep which are not of his fold. I must bring them also, and they will hear my voice, and they will become one flock with one shepherd. For this reason the Father loves me, because I lay down my life so that I may take it again. John 10 and 16 For Christ is the unblemished Lamb, for he came and died for mankind. And once the ruler of this world has been slain, all will be brought by the Lamb into his city, and it will have no need of sun or of the moon to shine on it, for the glory of God has illumined it, and its Lamb is a Lamb. Revelation 21-22